It keeps us alive. It keeps our planet alive. We live around it. We play in it. It's home to a whole bunch of native species. It's a taonga. It's water. Many of us remember spending days at the river or lake. Today, though, many of our waters are so polluted that jumping in could make you sick. How'd this happen? Let's rewind a bit. First, the timber boom. Then, the Otago Gold Rush sent deposits of toxic sediment into the water. Then came farming. Trees were cut to make room for grass, and wetlands were drained to make room for more grass. And then World War II's economic boom, which saw the rivers suffer from extra factories and towns. In the late 60s, people really started noticing how dirty the water was getting. But despite more people caring about the health of our lakes and rivers, we're still seeing our fresh water becoming more and more polluted year after year. There was huge forest loss through colonisation, burning, lots of sediment, and then in the last 20 to 25 years, major agricultural intensification, more farm runoff, more nutrient pollution, and more faecal coliform pollution. While governments over time have tinkered with freshwater regulations, there hasn't been a proper plan. Some former swimming spots today are so polluted that you could get sick or a skin infection if you swim in them. In some places, toxic algae grows during summertime, putting people and animals in danger. 76% of our freshwater fish are at risk of extinction, and 46% of lakes over one hectare are in poor or very poor health. So overall, things aren't great right now for water. Admittedly, it's a bit grim, but we can change that. And that's what we're doing now. We're bringing in the strongest water reforms ever, ensuring swimmable rivers, healthy rivers in a generation. These major reforms create enforceable rules so that everyone can play their part in ensuring that we have healthy waterways, healthy fresh water. The Green Party has been pushing for this for years and we're really excited now to dive in.